know, it's uh, some of your favorite stars on our show. There's two teams that convey ideas to each other using as few words as they dare, and I want you to meet the stars, starting with these two gorgeous creatures. Kenny, who are they? And we have our charming stars. We have Sharon Glass and Ruta Lee, and they're playing with a kindergarten teacher, Libby Chuckman. And, and on the men's side, our current champion with winnings of over $5,700. Wayne Sigurd is playing with other guest celebrities, Paul Sylvain yes. and Jamie Farr. Welcome back to all of you. Well, thank you, Tom. You're welcome. I don't have to welcome Jamie. He hasn't left, you know. <laughs> He's been in this studio now for three yes. years. <laughs> and a welcome addition, right, I can, too. Hurry up, right. I got to do the Tonight Show yet, and then the Tomorrow Show with Tom Snyder. That's right. right. And Libby Jockman is new to our show, and she teaches kindergarten, and I guess that's fun. Oh, it's fun. Five-year-olds are fun to oh, work with. Oh, sure they are. That's great. Happy to have you with us. Thank you, Tom. All right, Wayne and Libby, stay right here. Everyone else off stage. Okay. Let's go to work here. Libby and Wayne, this time you're playing for. A Lake Tahoe vacation, a movie camera, and a fur. Now, a price is valued over $2,100. We'll get the first clue after you. I don't know how I could have done it so long without thinking. But finally, I asked myself, why was I buying pancake mix when I already had Bisquick? Beats me. Bisquick makes terrific pancakes. Light and fluffy which isn't surprising. There's over 45 years of quality and experience behind every box. And that's got to mean something. Usually, it means second helpings. Really, Bisquick is the only pancake mix you'll ever need. Bisquick. Something good always comes of it. In historic St. Augustine, America's oldest city, visitors from everywhere are telling us orange juice from Florida isn't just for breakfast anymore. Well, the kids often drink orange juice when they're having a snack or watching TV. I drink orange juice at nighttime because it gives me a lift. And with four kids, I need a lift. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you're out, remember to stop in for a refreshing glass of 100% pure orange juice. As a thirst quencher, you just can't beat it. Orange juice from Florida. It isn't just for breakfast anymore. Our stars are backstage with headsets on. They cannot hear. Here is your first clue, Libby and Wayne, and it reads, Julia Child does it in the kitchen. What does she do? C cooks. cooks. That's right. The famous French chef. And now, uh, Wayne, we begin with you. Okay, take out in. All right. Take out does. Okay. Wayne? Take out Julia. Oh. Libby Child it the kitchen. Take out it. Wayne? Um, take out the. All right, Libby. Two words left. If you take out one more word, your teammates have to come up with the answer. Or you can challenge the guy with those two words. Take out child. She takes out child, and from kitchen, she wants cooks. Kitchen cooks. Good. Chance, I would say. However, it isn't exactly iron bound. So bring out the players. We'll find out. This is the first game in a new match. We all know the word or rather the answer. And the ladies have been challenged, and it's Ruta Lee and Sharon Glass. And you have a chance to confer. You see up there, and you also know where this stands within the sentence because the dashes indicate the beginning and the end of the sentence. And uh, it's kitchen. Last word before the end. So Sharon Glass. Your answer is... Chef? Wrong. And the guys get the first game. What is it? Uh, cook, cook. Cooks is it. Yes. Because look how it rolled off. Yeah, too many cooks. We'll said never know, cooks. but I just wonder, if you saw child in kitchen, what you would say? Would you think of in terms of a Julia? A mess is what yeah, I would say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly oh, sure sandwich. I would. Uh, you would think of Julia. Oh, yeah. I yeah. would think of a child getting so would into I. trouble or something like that. <laughs> One to nothing favor the guys. And so oh. Ruta and Way, uh, pardon me, Ruta and Paul stay, okay. everyone else off stage. Fine, that means yeah. you too. Oh, oh backstage, upstage, wherever it is. <laughs> oh, and so do Ruta you. always does. My handsome partner here. She always does, yes. And Paul Sylvain. Yeah, you're a very handsome couple. He sh oh, thank you. Let's go. Come on. Let's, go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at our next clue now. A little emperor who was Josephine's lover. Oh, boy. Who is oh, it? Boy, who, oh, who was it? Boy. Napoleon. 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 Yes. Ruta? Um, <clears throat> uh, little. OK. 
Okay. Take out Emperor. Who is Josephine's lover, all right? Take out Lover. Hmm. Paul. Oh, uh, let's take out who? Was Josephine's, Ruta. I guess we'll take out was. All right, and from Josephine, she wants Napoleon, and she stands a good chance. Let's bring back the teams. If uh, she is right, of course, they'll tie up the score. The women won, the men won. If the women are wrong, however, you have been challenged, Libby and Sharon. If they are wrong, the guys win this first match because two games win a match. They're both dumbstruck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Libby Jockman. All right, Libby Jockman, what is your answer? Napoleon. That is it. Tied it up. Sharon Glass and Jamie Farr stay. Everyone else off stage. Sharon, you're right here. You're here this time. I think it's everybody had uh, Napoleon. That no, time. Wayne didn't. <laughs> what, did he, what did he have? For he Joseph? didn't know what it was. He says oh. Joseph. He thought it was a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Josephine. <laughs> That's Josephine. Right out of two. <laughs> All right. Get out of the this, kitchen, Josephine. This is the rubber game now. Here's your clue. Uh, thick, thick mist, mist often that descends often descends on London. Fog. Oh. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sam. Uh, Oh, I should go first. Descends. Yes. Thick mist that often on London. Um, thick. All right. And Jamie. I'll take off often. <laughs> I like this new role I'm playing. <laughs> it's a casting director in the audience. <laughs> sure. that, I'll take out that. Mist on London. Yes, I'm going to take art on. <laughs> Sharon, two words. You know what to do, don't you? I, uh, if I'll, you take out one word, your teammates have to come up with it or a challenge. That's right. But I think they can get it with Mist in London. Well, so I'm going to take out Mist. And from London, you want fog. Mm -hmm. You don't want fog from Mist. You want London it from Churchill. London. That's all right. We'll soon find out. Bring them back. That's what makes the game interesting. Everybody has their own approach. Ladies, you have been challenged. Ruta Lee and Libby Jockman. If they are right, they win the match. If they are wrong, the guys win the match. Libby Jockman, your answer for the match is... Big Ben? Wrong, the guys! What do you think it is? Huh? What? It's a bridge of snow. It is wrong. There you go. Oh, no, that's all right. That was, there wasn't one fog in the group, though. I know. Uh, the guys won the match. Libby Jockman, it's only your first loss. Sure. So if you would please retire backstage, we'll bring you out a little bit later on. Thank you very much. Now we turn our attention to Wayne Sigurd. Another win. No, stay right there, Wayne. You didn't say may I. Where are you, where are you going? Kenny, where did he win? For fun in the snow and the sun, Wayne, we'll fly you and a guest from Los Angeles for a week's vacation for two at the beautiful Hyatt Lake Tahoe Resort. Horseback riding, tennis, golf, and health spa. You'll live and dine in magical enchantment furnished by Hyatt Lake Tahoe. And, Wayne, you can take pictures on your vacation with your second prize because it's the UMIG 31XL Super 8 millimeter sound movie camera, adding the exciting dimensions of living sound to all your home movies, furnished by UMIG. And something for the well-dressed man, Wayne. Startling in both fur and fashion is Davini's jacket, designed for the man in natural marmot, furnished by Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. A vacation package worth over $2,100. That's right, <laughs> yes. And you know, earlier, as a matter of fact, when we opened the show, I erroneously said you had 5,700 and something. It was actually 5,200 and something, I believe. Anyway, we informed Wayne of that. He knew about it, even though I didn't say it on the air. Now, 